All right, y'all. Today we unboxing the Steam Deck and answering, is it worth the hype? Um, honestly, I think it is. Really cool stuff. Uh, this one actually came back from, um, what is it, warranty? Yeah, I had an issue with this, so I had to turn it in. Um, and they sent me a new one absolutely free. Um, and looks like it's a brand new one. Now, I have opened it before. I'm just unboxing it for the video. Um, so, yeah, you get the little piece of paper. You get your charger. It comes with a cool case. This is the original model, not the OLED. So, shout out to the OGs that's been on Steam Deck for a while. Um, we bought it since it came out. And then right at the end of our warranty, the screen went out. And we sent it in, and Valve was super professional and sent us pretty much a new one, no questions asked. We just had to email them, tell them what was wrong with it. They found our receipt easily because we bought ours through Steam. Um, <laughs> that's a good thing you get this good carrying case so you can be a little tough with it. And then, uh, yeah, it came right back in in about two weeks. And, yeah, no questions asked, no deductible, no Apple Care, none of that. Just warranty covered the faultiness of it um so as you'll see it is on um i have already installed windows on it like i said uh it is um a, a cheat code i believe is just putting windows on it especially if you want to get the most out of it as you see right here my wife was just playing house flipper on the xbox app um which is super convenient um you get access to all these apps and all these games for, you know, $17 a month. We're on our trial for $1. So that's cool. Um, and if you're scared of losing any of like your shortcuts that Steam has built in, there is actually a service called Deck Tools, Steam Deck Tools. Uh, let me see if I can get it on the screen. And you see right here where this little controller is, that's a part of it. That'll allow me to use my Steam Deck controller on any Microsoft games or non-Steam games that wouldn't pick it up initially or automatically. Um, and then you also have fan control. Um, when you switch to Windows, it might sound like a PS3 or a PS4. Um, but if you use this with, with Steam Deck tools, you can download the fan control that'll allow you to keep it nice and quiet. As you see, it's running right now and you don't hear it at all. Um, it also makes it a bit, um, a lot better as a streaming device when you have windows to it. Um, you can, like I said, you see Epic's game launcher. I also play GTA on 5M, which isn't available on Steam OS. Uh, I just really think it gives it a lot of advantages. Now, don't get me wrong. There will be some games that don't run, um, just like it would have normally on Steam. Um, windows isn't the end all be all of all your problems some of it actually is just performance because it is still just a handheld gaming in terms of emulation i can run anything from um ps2 or anything from you know um the old school games up to about ps2 i haven't tried xbox 360 but the ps3 games are a little laggy um a lot of them are just too stuttery to even play but um for a portable ps2 emulation device is awesome you got the full Windows experience right at your fingertips. I can edit videos, record, stream, all with no issues. Um, you know what I mean? When I play, uh, what is it? Um, when I play Power World and under, and I can play Power World and stream directly from this device. Um, lots of other games that I can play and stream directly from this device, including um, 5M. Now, 5M will be a little bit slower than it is on your PC. Don't get me wrong, but with the right amount of tweaks and and button mapping you can definitely uh use your on-screen keyboard and play um gta online rp And this is our boy Blicky Bricks here on GTA RP. All right, and then here's the GTA 5M on the Steam Deck. Y'all see it's working. Definitely not as smooth as on my PC, but definitely playable. Um, I just was over here selling some drugs, you know. But just another thing that Windows on Steam Decks let you do that the Steam OS won't. Um, 
then I use my back paddles as a keyboard keybinds so I can do other things. You see, it's pretty responsive. Let's see, punch is pretty responsive. All that cool stuff. You still got a keyboard and mouse. If you want to bring up the on screen keyboard, you just use the Steam shortcuts. Be the Steam shortcuts, and then I'm able to do anything I need to with keyboard on hand. You know, the online games use a lot of keyboard, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Overall, the Steam Deck I think is a great unit. To me, I pretty much use it like a laptop inside of like a Switch form factor. It's great for on the go. I play Power World on my main mix PC, and when I want to go somewhere, I can play it on here as well. Um, just really good functional device. Like I said, Valve's super professional with their warranty and even all the Windows drivers that they built for this machine. Um, really cool stuff. Thank you for watching.